Hello, good afternoon. I'm Katie Kemper with Sly Fox Fabrics. We're here for our fabric reveal today, and we're going to have a little Q&A session um, about fabric after the reveal. And I'm going to hop on my phone and pull it up so I can see comments because I cannot see them on my computer. So let's see. Here I am. Turn my volume down. Okay. All right. So we'll just sit here and chat for a few minutes until um, we get more people hopping on. Um, so today we have a couple of special buys that we want to show you, a few new bundles, and then we're going to have a Q&A session. I know that um, some people have a lot of confusion or questions over fabric, and I know it's really can be difficult to buy fabric online. So uh, we thought that um, it'd be great to answer questions today. And Mary Beth's here with me, like she always is, and she has um, she's ready to go and run and grab fabrics if we need to to answer questions. So we're hoping that uh, it's helpful for you guys today, and um, we can clear up any confusion um, that you might have. So uh, we had a couple uh, special buys in, chambray and eyelet, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about those and what they would be good for. I can tell you my eyelet story. So sad. <laughs> um, let's see here. Okay, so we have about 30 people on, so I'm going to go ahead and hop to it. Get my graphics going over here. Make sure I don't turn the wrong one off. And all right, so, oh, there's a couple things I want to talk to you about too. A couple little special deals going on. Um, we have a deal going right now that if you purchase, if your purchase is 125 or over, you'll get a free bag. So uh, go to our handbag if you're thinking about stocking up on fabric. Go check out our handbags um, because that's up to a $45 value. They range in about, uh, price from $22 to $45. So um, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good deal. I'm gonna say so. It's until it's while well supplies last. Um, so it could be going on a while. It might not be. We'll see. But uh, that's one of the things that's going on right now. And then also, um, today, the first 30 orders that are $50 or above will get a free gift, and it's appliques, the bag of appliques. It's a $10 value, and there's at least 10 appliques in each bag, and you can see our little picture here with our um, butterfly applique and this little um, faux belt. Uh, so there's just various little things in each bag. Okay, so that's going on. So we got the purse, we got the appliques. We'll bring that up later if we need to. Okay, so let's talk about chambray. Chambray is a woven, and we have, um, let's see, Didn't grab the gray one, but we have uh, assorted blues. So if you order blue chambray, you'll get a surprise. We'll get one of our blues that we have. And um, it's a woven fabric, it's lightweight, and it looks uh, a lot like denim. Um, denim is, so the reason why it looks like denim is it's sort of, sort of made the same um, with two different colored yarns. Um, so I think it's, I think I, I read that it was a colored yarn in the um, warp and a white yarn in the weft. And um, that's what gives it its unique um, color variances throughout the fabric. Uh, so it's so it's like it's like you would think it's denim, but it's super lightweight. So um, here is one of the blues and it's probably not showing up as dark on the screen as it does in person. I can see that there's some rebalancing going on here mm -hmm. with the yellow. So I'll put that down. <laughs> Here's another one. This one's a little bit lighter. They look the exact same color. Do they look yeah, the exact same color? Up. Let me put them together. Maybe we'll 
we had a lighting issue um, today when we set our lights up. Um, a bunch of uh, all of our bulbs went out, so <laughs> we we were able to salvage one bulb, and that's why I think this is going on. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry, we're still a work in progress. <laughs> so this is the darker, this is the lighter. Um, let me show you what you could make. I I only pulled up. Let's see, one one suggested pattern today, um, but ugh, what am I doing here? <laughs> Okay, hold on. There we go. It's the Hey June Sanibel romper and dress. So I thought this was a really great example of something you could do with chambray. Um, here's a, another one. This one has, actually goes this way. It has some slub action going on in it with the uh, specks of white pretty love this so those are like the variations of blue we've got some lighter ones we've got some a little bit deeper ones you can yeah this is it looks better yeah now it on does my when you're holding against each okay other. they kind of balance each other out okay so there's mm, five or six different colors of blue just light to dark we also have this mint which I can tell is not going to come up on screen well so I'm gonna stick something else I'll put this up Let's see if the mint will. It's a little blown out. Anyways, um, let me see here. I, I wouldn't start messing with that. Mary Beth's going to try and help me. <laughs> I'm going to be mean and tell her to cut it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I mean, this mint color. And then we have... Um, a lighter gray color which I don't have with me but it's uh, down in the corner here um, it's beautiful it goes really nice with the gray eyelet that we have somebody wants to know if it's tinsel Ten it is not tinsel it, it's usually cotton um, chambray is typically cotton and our supplier didn't give us the information on this one but I'm gonna it looks it looks and feels to me like it's cotton um, so I hope that answered that question. It's not tinsel. Okay, so that's our chambray assortment that we have. And then the next thing is the eyelet. So we have eight colors of eyelet, and I'm gonna show them all to you. I just have a little example over here on the side. Um, let's see, I'm gonna start at the bottom. Go light to dark. So my sad eyelid story is when I was about four years old, I had this top, it's a little off the shoulder top, and it was super cute. It was white eyelet. It was my favorite top. I wore it all the time. And I ran outside to play in the summertime because we typically got locked outside. <laughs> I had to beg to get back in. I have to go to the bathroom. No, you don't. <laughs> so anyways, I jumped up on the fence to go jump the fence to go find somebody to play with and a bird pooped on me. <laughs> and it pooped right on the front of my shirt. And I remember just looking down and going, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? So I ran back home and I said, mom, look what happened. And she said, well, that shirt's going in the trash and she ripped it off me and threw it away. And I've always missed that shirt ever since. It's my sad eyelet story. <laughs> so I'm trying to find something to balance this white out. Oh, that's cute. You should send that to me and I'll put it up. Okay. Um, because I can do that. I can put pictures up. Okay, I'm going to put this on because I think we're going to have a balancing issue with this white eyelet. That's not helping. Oh, dear. There we go. Okay, this one is cream. We have cream and white. Very similar designs. Uh, isn't that pretty? Eyelet is typically cotton also, and I think that this is um, cotton. I'm having a hard time figuring out this is the right side. Okay, so that's cream. Um, I would suggest uh, patterns or designers that um, do the, they have a lot of patterns that incorporate eyelid into them, would be like Violet Fields Thread and Sis Boom, S-I-S Boom. And um, what were a couple of the other ones we were talking about? 
Oh, for, you know, my, like little kid island yeah, stuff? Yeah, or like little pretty delicate women. Um, little Lizard King. Oh, Little Lizard King. Um, this one is a, the only one that's like this, it has a, a crepe um, background to it. So um, it's a cream color and it's crepey. And did you send that to my computer or my phone? Your computer. I just airdropped it. Oh, I don't know. It just said Katie. It popped up on my phone. Okay. Um, Mary Beth sent me a picture I want to share with you guys. Uh, here is the um, mint. I'm trying to get a nice close up. Isn't that pretty? Just really soft. I'm show them how good the mint Oh, and it matches the mint chambray really nicely. Good. It matches. <laughs> oh, it didn't look like it did. Well, it's getting a lot of uh, it's blowing out a little oh. bit. Um, oh, this one is very unique. It's got a uh, like gold thread through it. You know, these vertical lines. I had a, a tough time photographing this one. Um, this also goes nice with the mint sh um, chambray. I was going to say chalet. <laughs> saying Shally a lot lately. It just wants to come right out. Okay. Olive. Olive eyelet. And the eyelets are lightweight as well, and they're very soft. I'm not sure. If I had to guess, I would say they were 100% cotton. What do you think? Probably. Yeah. Really pretty. Let's see if I can get a closer view for you. Yeah, I've been forgetting to do the full view, <laughs> the cover the camera view. So um, let me see if I can get you a better look at this creepy one. The, the creamy crepe. Here is the ivory to the right side. And I think this is the right side. This is the ivory. And then the, um, oh, we'll do the mint real quick. The, um, the gray goes very nicely with the gray chambray, which I don't have a piece of. My apologies. Do you want me to go get it? Is it cut? Did you cut it? No. Okay. Yeah. Um, no. So the gray and the olive have the same design. They're the same fabric, just different colorways. Uh, and then we have uh, the we have pink and navy, and they're the same design, different colorways. They have bigger flowers on them. They're really cute. We were thinking that these would be really cute with um, with the uh, what's that called? The patchwork, the floral patchwork uh, ranch chalet. That's like real boho looking. They would be. This pink matches, and then you have your, your blue. Let's see. This is the navy. Let's see if we can get it to pull up. It's a nice, rich, deep, dark navy. Let me put something up so it'll balance itself. Mm, isn't that pretty? Okay. Tell them my idea about that one. Oh, Mary Beth had a really cute idea with this. She thought this would be adorable as a top, like on a little girl, um, with a pair of shorts made out. Of, uh -huh. A pair of shorts made out of the Americana um, cotton, spandex. cotton spandex. It's the the stars and stripes. It's really cute. I thought that was a cute idea too. Um, and Beth Dara made an outfit 
her her daughter out of the pink out of this pink with um, a light blue chambray shorts little cute little top she was gonna send it to me but I don't know if I if I got it um, I'm going to let's see here uh, oh and then we have a slide by today too forgot to mention that let's see oh and we have bundles darn it I forgot to mention that too well, you said you put your bundles. Oh, okay. So, uh, because the chambray and the eyelid are a special buy, I'm going to give a bundle away today for the reveal booty. So, um, if you comment, you'll be entered to win a free bundle. Um, and you comment as many times as you like, and I'll announce who won it tomorrow um, after 4.30. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time. So, you want to hand me those bundles? Well, okay. These are all busy. <laughs> summer inspired inspired bundles. So we'll do the bundles, and then I'll get um, I'll show you the slide by, and then we'll start the Q and A, and then after that everything will go live. So this bundle is two yards of the Serenity Poly Rayon spandex, and a yard of the mauve. Mauve Latte Model? Yes. Mauve Latte Model. We had this bundle a few weeks ago. It was really popular, so we thought we'd bring it back. Um, you can give them back to me. Give those back to Mary Beth. And then uh, the next one is two yards of the pink, the small pink roses, the tri-blend, and a yard of the lavender Model. Isn't that cute? Just love those together. So we were thinking like two yards for the print, you could do a top, and then a yard of, um, at the bottom, you could do um, a skirt or something like that. Um, here, this next bundle is the Rosebud bundle. It's our Rosebud Rayon Spandex, which um, sold like hotcakes last year, last summer. And then a yard of the um, Olive Modal. They are gorgeous together. I can't even, my pictures cannot do this justice. It's so pretty together. The um, Olive Modal is really close to, it's just a little bit lighter than everyday Olive Fresh Poly. It's gorgeous. Okay, the Vibrance in Khaki. This is one of my favorites. I want a top made out of this. Um, Brown spandex. Look at the way the flowers just pop right off that. And then a yard, it's two yards of the print, and then a yard of the hot pink brown spandex. Light, soft, and silky, perfect for summer outfits. And then the next one, this one's really fun. You have to use your imagination. <laughs> uh, it is the coral. Aztec brand spandex. So it's got quite a kind of a long repeating print there. And then um, two yards of the small. No, one yard. Oh, I'm sorry, one yard. One yard of the small um, brand spandex polka dots. Um, so I was thinking, I thought, oh, I love these together. What would you make? If anybody, if you've been on the page lately or um, maybe you haven't, check out. I'm not ready to give it back to you. <laughs> Check out Jessica P. James. Um, search for her if, her if her post isn't showing up because she made the cutest dress. It The top is like this, uh, I don't even, I think she might have mashed two things together. I'm not sure. So forgive me, I don't remember. But go find her post. She'll tell you how she did it. Her top is the yellow small polka dots and ram spandex. And the skirt part is brush poly, but you could do it with this. And I think it would be so cute together. There's like a little knot in the bottom of it. So Jessica P, P-E-A dash James, check her out. And okay, so that's our last bundle. And then you are we doing the slide, the slide by or are we doing the Q&A first? I you thought we would stay. I thought we would do the Q&A first. We're going to do the slide-by. I'm going to show it to you, and then we're doing the Q&A, but the slide-by won't go live until we're off, um, until we're done being live. Because <laughs> I can't really do two things at once. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so today's flyby is the choral uh, interlude. So it's um, it's blue with the choral flowers, and it's not really showing up as vibrant because it's this boy who's not liking me today. But the pictures, the picture is very representative of uh, what it looks like. So um, so that's our flyby today. Okay, before you start the Q&A, the dress that Jessica B. James made, uh -huh. it was the new Aphrodite pattern from Red Patterns. Oh, okay. So the dress that Jessica P. James made was the Aphrodite um, dress from Red Patterns. It's new. Uh, it's super cute. And she made little panties to go under it that matched her dress. It's so cute. Okay. Um... Let's see. Oh, I know a bunch of you probably jumped on after I talked about this earlier, but we have a couple things, a couple deals going on today. Um, one of them is this get a free handbag. Uh, if you if you have a purchase of 125 or over, and I'm trying to move into the right spot of the camera, uh, you can go pick out a handbag. It's a value from 22 to 45 dollars. So any handbag. Um, and then we also have our first 30 orders of 50 and up um, get a, uh, a free gift. So it's a bag full of appliques, the $10 value. Um, but you'll find that if you're one of the first 30 people, we're just going to put them in, in the orders um, as they come. So, uh, so that's, that's the other deal we have going on. Um, let me see if I can find this picture to show you that Mary Beth sent me. She made a swimsuit for my aunt, and uh, it's really cute, and I just wanted to show it to you. I don't think I got it on my computer. I got it on my phone, so I'm going to send it over. Tell them it's the Take the Plunge from P for P. It's the Take the Plunge from P for P. Okay. My aunt has a, has a cute smile going on here. She just, she'd probably kill me if she knew I was putting this up here. She said to take her face off. <laughs> <laughs> she said take her face off, but I'm not, so she can get mad at me. She, she's too cute. Um, it's the Take the Plunge by P4P, and that's um, some of our swim knit that we have. But isn't that adorable? I thought that turned out really mm -hmm. cute. And I was telling Mary Beth, that bathing suit that she made, that would cost over $100 in the store. So, because I know, because I bought one <laughs> last year or the year before for vacation and was trying to kicking myself the whole way out the door, but I didn't know how to sew up a bathing suit. Um, anyways, that is uh, turned out really cute. And she has a little pair of boy shorts on to go under that. Um, okay, so... So let them know that we do not sell the appliques. Somebody said, oh, I don't see okay. them on the site. Yeah, we don't sell the appliques. They're just a special free gift that we're, we're giving away. Um, so if you order, if your order totals 50 or more, including shipping, uh, you'll get, uh, and you, if you're one of the first 30 people, you'll get, you'll get a bag of appliques. Just a special little gift that we're doing today. So let's have questions. Do you have questions about fabric? I know that one of the questions that popped up on the page this past week was um, some concerns about uh, how sheer fabric is and how how can you tell? Um, like for example, I, this is real quick. I was trying to come up with uh, pictures to show you guys, so we'll just chat about this for a few minutes. Okay, so over here, this picture um, of this bundle. I'm just going to put this over my face. You can kind of see uh, we, we photograph almost all of our fabric on this mannequin. The mannequin has script writing, and you can see some of it um, through the fabric uh, down towards um, the bottom and where the, the breasts are on the, <laughs> on the mannequin. You can see it. So when, when the fabric is pulled tight, uh, you, can see, you can see through it. Now, you're probably not going to buy that fabric, let's be reasonable, and make it into a tight garment. It's going to become a blouse. 
So over here, um, I just draped the fabric on the mannequin like a blouse would drape. And you can see where the fabric hits the mannequin. You can kind of see through it a little bit. That's where your bra would be. So when you buy a top and you can sort of see, you know, when it lays over, you can see your bra through it, maybe solid white or whatever. That's what it looks like. When you have a fabric and you pull it away from you and it's not up against your skin, you can't typically see through it. Um, so the reason that I wrap them on the mannequin when I take the pictures is to show the scale. The mannequin's about, I think she's about a size six. Would you say about a size six? Kitty? Yes. The mannequin. Oh, the mannequin. Yes, yeah, she's got to be. Yeah, because we had a, um, Mary Beth had made a size six dress once that we put on her and it fit her perfect. And so. I couldn't get that bathing suit on her. Oh, and she couldn't get the bathing suit on the mannequin that she had made for my aunt that I just showed you. So, um, so just for reference sake, when you're looking at the site, you see the fabric on the mannequin. It's really for scale, and you can also use it kind of loosely for, for fabric sheerness. Um, when somebody had um, mentioned the, the Anchors Away cotton spandex, that you, they could see it's got a white background with little anchors on it, and they could see the other anchors underneath it for the next, because it's doubled and rolled onto a, um, on a bolt. And it's doubled and rolled and pulled tight onto that bolt, and I took a picture of the bolt. I think we had like 50 fabrics that week, so I was quickly getting them online. And um, there's show through on that because it's pulled tight on the bolt. So if you make a garment out of it, it's not gonna have show through or see through. Now, if you're gonna um, make a like a pencil skirt, a tight pencil skirt, you are gonna make sure that you want a fabric that you can't see through. So um, most of the, the, black, the dark brush polys, you can't see through them. You get any questions mm -hmm. yet? I'm just talking until I get yeah. questions. Yeah, we got questions. Best fabric okay. for ladies underwear. Best fabric for ladies' underwear. I would stick with natural fibers like cotton, cotton spandex. I've made them out of everything. Mary Beth has made ladies' underwear out of everything. I've made them out of swim. I've made them out of swim. Rayon spandex. Rayon spandex. Double brush poly. Double brush poly. Cotton spandex. Cotton spandex. Just always make the liner out of cotton spandex. Okay, so I was going to ask you. So she says always make the liner out of cotton spandex because um, with your underwear, you don't want to not have breathability you know, down there. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm imagining you guys can hear her. I'm not <laughs> sure, but she said not. you you don't want the, the, the swamp, the swamp butt kind of thing going on down there. Uh, you want to have some breathability, so you want to line it with cotton, but you can make them out of anything. Okay. Um, Somebody wants to know, is what you call wovens, is that like cotton? Oh, okay. Somebody asks, is, is what you call wovens, is that like cotton? Um, not necessarily. Uh, woven is just, um, it's the mechanism by which the yarn is put together to make the fabric. So wovens and knits are made differently. Woven fabric is woven and a knit fabric is knitted. And it, I'm going to do some Fabric 101 videos, I promise. One of the things I'll do when I make those videos is I'll bring up images to illustrate the differences because I know I found them online. Um, but uh, woven fabric is it's woven on a, a loom, mm -hmm. and and you will see things like wool dobby uh, is um, an explanation for the fabric, and I believe it's because it's made on a dobby loom, which affects the fabric somehow. But we'll get into deeper detail when I can get my my videos up. But um, basically, wovens do not stretch. They, the fabric is woven together and it's very stable. Vertically, horizontally, horizontally it's stable. It, a woven fabric can be made out of cotton, uh, rayon, polyester, pencil, mm -hmm. linen, anything, but it is a very, it's woven together and it's stable. Knits, they take the yarn and, and it's, it's, uh, the yarn is put together to allow the fabric to stretch. So it is simply the way those yarns are um, are put together. So, and, and some knits stretch um, horizontally and vertically. That's a four-way stretch. Some knits stretch just 
horizontally, that's a two-way stretch. So then vertically, they're stable. Um, I just thought of something I wanted to mention about woven fabric. Um, some woven um, have spandex in them, like our peach skin is a woven with spandex, so it has a tiny bit of horizontal stretch. I think it was 25% on a good day, but it, it, it has a little bit of give. So if you were going to make a garment with, with it, it's got a little bit more give than something that doesn't have spandex in it. Is tri-blend see-through? It's tri-blend see-through. Um, if you wear it as a tight garment and it's a light color, you can see through it. The ivory solid tri-blend, uh, you can see through that. It is not completely sheer, but you can. You would not want to make a tight fitting top or dress out of that. But it'd be fine for a t-shirt. It'd be fine for a t-shirt. Um, the the small roses. Do you still have that? The small rose, the pink one from the bundle. And then why don't you? I I know I have the ivory over there. It's right next to the modal. There's a little piece of it. Let's have demonstrations. Okay, so here is a small piece of ivory tri-blend. This will be a good... Okay, so you can you can see right through that no matter I think whether it's whether it's tight-fitting or sort of loose blousy you can see through yeah, that because see, it's yeah. a very light fabric. I mean it's it's white, so it's really, it's really light. Um, conversely, we have this small roses. You can't see through that. Uh, and I've seen a, a, this year more than last year. We had a lot. We so far had a lot of um, people making dresses out of tri-blend. I don't think I saw one dress out of tri-blend last year. Mm. And there's been a ton of dresses. I think Beth Dara made a few baby doll dresses recently, and she came in the other day wearing one. You could not see through it. So um, the ivory solid, yes. I don't, there's not another color of tri-blend that have any I can think of light. that you can see through. Yeah, mm -hmm. the rest of them are, are um, heavier and, and the colors are solid. Favorite fabrics for babies? Favorite fabrics for babies, it's a great question. I would say fabrics that are natural materials. Um, newborns, I mean, there's a lot of talk about newborns. You don't want to swaddle them and brush poly. That's probably true because they can't regulate their um, body temperature. But the older they get, the, like you could put brushed poly on, on a, say, a loose fitting garment, certainly, and for older babies. Yeah. You could use that. Um, great um, natural fiber fabrics are um, cotton spandex or cotton jersey. Um, rayon is a natural fiber. Modal, which is a type of rayon. Viscose, which is a type of rayon. Um, tensile uh, is another good fabric. And what else? Anything else you can think of? Linen. I don't know about linen. Yeah, you put linen yeah, on a baby. Yeah, you can put linen on a baby. Just be shally. Real. They can make something out oh, of shally. Oh, rayon shally uh, would be a great fabric. Cotton. And it's a woven. Cute. You can make a baby the, out of that. Um, the eyelets and the chambrays, you could put on a baby. They'd be great. It'd be so cute. When, when my daughter was three, Mary Beth made her a, um, a pinafore. And the underdress. That was so cute. Oh my gosh, she was so cute. It was all cotton. And she wore it for um, Easter. And she looked like a little French girl. She was so <laughs> cute. <laughs> Lining or heavy gathering for thinner fabrics like rayon? Lining, so, okay. Lining oh. or heavy gathering for thinner fabrics like, like, like rayon. I think what... The question is either the, or. see-through-ish. Like what would be whatever. better, lining it or gathering it? That's kind of how I take that question. What's better, lining or gathering? Um, they're both going to give you the result you want. If you have a light uh, fabric that you want to like wear as a skirt, you can gather it. You're not going to be able to see through it. 
um, or you could line it. We have lining fabric. Um, it's not that big of a deal to line with the, with the lining fabric. Is Liverpool good for pencil skirts? Is Liverpool good for pencil skirts? Yes, Liverpool is fabulous for pencil skirts. I love Liverpool for pencil skirts because I have a cellulite problem that goes from my waist down to my knees. So I love to wear Liverpool because you can't you can't see the cellulite through it. So um, and it's comfortable, it's soft, and it's light. Um, so you could wear it in warmer weather. How do you care for rayon spandex? How do you care for rayon spandex? That is a great question. Um, Something I've learned since uh, starting this business is that uh, whether your fabric is dry or wet can matter um, as far as the, uh, the content of the fabric and the strength that it has. And rayon is the only material, uh, fabric material, that is weaker when it is wet than when it is dry. So you want to handle it with care when you wash it. You would wash it on um, with cool or warm water and your you can wash it in your washing machine or you can wash it by hand it's up to you um, but I would pull it out and um, I'd hang it to dry uh, for two reasons number one it is more delicate when it's um, when it's wet and handle it with care pull on it uh, when it's wet um, or even lay it flat because hanging on a hanger pulls on it. Or you, yeah, laying it flat. I have one of those pop-up things to to lay clothes on. To, like drape it over. Yeah, it. and I I wash mine in the washer like when it's just fabric before it's made into a garment. I wash it in the washer and I drape it over that and let it dry. Yeah, it takes a couple of days. It's a pain in the butt. You could put it in the dryer um, and just put it on tumble low or um, just the air setting. But one thing I want to mention with rayon is uh, if you have a dark colored rayon that has a white backing, if you put that in the dryer, it's, you're more likely to get that white backing thread pulled through the front and, and you'll be able to see it. So I would definitely any dark colored rayon spandex, um, hang it to dry. When will more DVP dots and stripes be stocking? When will more double brush poly dots and stripes be stocking? Very, very soon. Um, we actually have a truck sitting in LA waiting to be dispatched full of dots and stripes and prints. It's all brush poly. I think there's over 90 rolls and only like a handful of them are not brush poly. So um, we are anxiously awaiting that truck. <laughs> when sewing with knits, is it best to use a serger? When sewing with knits, is it best to use a serger? If you want to keep your sanity and your hair, I would re highly recommend a serger. Most people who sew with knits and switch from a sewing machine to a serger, they are, they never go back to a sewing machine. So um, it's way easier, it's way faster, especially with things like rayon, rayon spandex. Yeah, here's a great question. I have a few of the solid brush poly that I'm having difficulty determining the right and wrong side. Mm -hmm. Is there a standard for figuring this out? Does it curl to the wrong side or the right side when stretched? Okay, you wanna get me a piece? Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody's asking, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys can hear Mary Beth or not, but somebody was asking, about figuring out which side is the right and wrong side on solid double brush poly. Um, and the answer to that for the solids is neither. I mean, they're, both sides are pretty much the same. But if you want to make sure that you're using the correct size, side, I'm sorry, um, this is the best way to tell. There's, there's two ways, actually. On the selvage, Here's our selvage edge. It curls on the selvage to the wrong side. So I'm showing you the wrong side right now. And then here's the selvage. Now, if you made a garment with this, you would never know that that's the wrong side on a solid. But um, OK, so then the other way to tell is to go to the cut edge of the fabric and pull on it and it curls to the right side of the fabric. So on the cut edge, it curls to the 
right side and on the selvage edge, it curls to the wrong side. And that's how you can tell. That's a great question. What's that top you have on? What's this top I have on? This is the baby doll boho. And it's, um, I'll stand up so you guys can see it a little bit. It is uh, the P for P baby doll boho. And um, it's uh, mesh. This is our, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, this is um, power mesh. And uh, the body part is lined with ivory double brush poly. Because you can see through power mesh. <laughs> are there more sovereign roses coming again soon? Oh, are there more sovereign roses coming again soon? Uh, I would love to say that I have, we have that on order, but we do not at this time. But as soon as we can um, put it, place another order with the supplier, we will definitely, and if they have it available, if I remember correctly, when I ordered it the last time, they had a very small quantity. So if it's available, I will definitely get you guys a ton of Sovereign Roses so everybody that wants them can get them because I know how gorgeous they were and how popular. What's the difference between SBP and DBP? What's the difference between SBP, single brush poly, and DBP, double brush poly? Uh, double brush poly is Let's just start from the beginning. The base on both fabrics is exactly the same. It's usually 95% are in the ballpark polyester and 5% spandex. You know, those numbers can change just a little bit, but it's, it's a poly spandex jersey blend. And um, there's several different like base fabric types called ITY, DTY, FTY. It just refers to the yarns and um, how they're put together. But uh, they're all knits and a double brush poly, you want to hand me this, double brush poly is brushed on both sides so that they, take, they have the base of fabric and it's, it's brushed to make it soft. So it gives it that super soft, sleek, you know, um, the buttery rose petal soft feeling. Single brush poly is brushed only on the right side of the fabric. So the inside of the fabric, the touch, the area that touches your skin is silky and slinky because the fabrics pretty much start out silky slinky. And then um, on double brush poly, both sides are brushed. So both sides feel peach skinny or single brushed, the, typically with single brushed, the um, wrong side feels silky. Can all of these fabrics go in the washing machine? Can all of these fabrics go in the washing machine? Um, every fabric that we offer can go in the washing machine. I've never, I don't think we have one that we've recommended, except for faux fur. You can't put that in the washing machine. You have to have that dry cleaned. Um, but everything else can go in the washing machine. I, and I, I'm going to tell you, I love to do laundry, but I hate hand washing stuff. I hate special care stuff. So I, I am like the laziest person that I know. I don't like to um, iron. So I love brush poly because you can roll it in a ball and throw it in a suitcase and then you can get it back out and it's perfectly fine. Because even though I'm lazy and I don't like to, you know, do special stuff, I also don't like to look bad. <laughs> like I just rolled out of bed. So, um, so yeah, everything that we offer is, it's not, there's not really a whole lot of super high maintenance stuff. I think the most high maintenance that we have is um, is the Rand spandex where we'd ask you like to maybe hang it to dry. What's tensile? What is tensile? Tensile is a type of fabric. And I'm trying to remember exactly what tensile is because um, I know that we we have offered tensile and it's it's pretty luxurious. I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. So I think you've had it in one of the descriptions of something that's no longer available. It, tensile, yeah. Let me look that up really quick. Hold, please. Because I know I know. Okay, while you're looking tensile. it up, tell them where to find the lining fabric listed. Where is it listed? Okay, the lining fabric. Again, now you're asking me to do two things at once. <laughs> the lining fabric is in with, um, if you search lining, it'll come up. It's also in with the athletic fabric, and I think it's in with the swim, 
swim um, net. And we have two colors, Tom. They we have two colors. Multi, multi we have colors. Um, uh, like a beige color, and then we have a black. And one of them is nylon, and one of them is polyester. Um, and we had, it was, what we had that was tinsel was our brushed French terry. And I'm looking at our description up now. Okay, tensile is made by lensing with wood pulp from sustainable eucalyptus tree farms. Um, this fiber is produced through an environmentally friendly solvent spinning process using a non-toxic solvent that's 99% recoverable and recyclable. Tensile fabrics are fluid and draped, silky soft, rich in color, have excellent cooling and antibacterial properties, low in pilling, resist wrinkling, and they're eco-friendly. So when I read the description here, and this is um, the description that I got from our uh, supplier's website that we bought our tensile fabric from, um, it sounds like tensile is akin to like a rayon uh, or a modal. Rayons and modals, just like this tensile description, are fabrics made from wood pulp. Um, modal is made specifically wood pulp from beech trees. Rayon is a general term for um, fabric made from various wood pulps, um, as well as viscose. Same, same type of thing. <laughs> Your sewing skills are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said my sewing skills are awesome and Mary Beth's cracking up because she makes all the clothes that I wear. <laughs> okay. Um, so that is, so tensile is uh, specifically made from eucalyptus trees, or pulp from eucalyptus, which who knew it would be so luxurious, silky. What fabrics are good for swimsuits? What fabrics are good for swimsuits? Swim knit is uh, good, and swim knit's usually a nylon um, fabric. I know I've seen some um, companies selling uh, swimwear that's poly. It's a poly, but I, I like the nylon, the nylon swimwear. So it's usually like nylon spandex, and it's specifically called uh, swim knit or um, performance knits. Any tips for sewing on the lace? Any tips for sewing on the lace? The lace trim? The eyelet? Um, I think probably lace trim. We're going to take that as lace trim. Sewing on lace trim. What, Mary Beth has some lace trim tips. How did you do yours? I just uh, top stitch it on. I would usually with the cover stitch of the circuit. So Mary Beth top stitches the, the um, stretch trim lace on with the cover stitch. Uh, the cover stitch option on the serger. If you didn't have a cover stitch option, how would you put that on? Just with a twin needle on a with, sewing machine. Okay, so, uh, or you could do a twin needle on a sewing machine. Um, is there a better choice for a fabric that won't attract pet hair? Oh, I, this has come up before. Is there, somebody asked, is there a better choice for a fabric that won't attract pet hair? Um, I don't know. <laughs> if somebody knows the answer to that question, please tell me because I have a white cat. <laughs> she loves to sit on my lap and my husband's lap. So um, I don't know the answer to that question. I think that cat hair is engineered to stick to everything. That's, that's I what I think. <laughs> Excuse me, which lining fabric would breathe better? Oh, which lining fabric would breathe better? So I'm guessing um, that question is between the poly and the nylon. Um, does nylon breathe better than poly? I think it does. You know, I really don't know. Yeah, we're not sure about that. Um, poly ester is not a breathable fabric. But isn't it moisture wicking by nature, polyester? Yes. It, polyester is moisture wicking by na by nature, um, but it's not breathable. Um, so, but I'm not sure of the breathability of nylon compared to polyester. I'm going to have to 
write that one down. I know nylon stockings used to make me sweat like crazy, so I don't think it breathes. <laughs> We're guessing that it doesn't breathe, but I'm going to make myself a note, and then I'll research it and come back on the group page. Do you know who answered, asked that question? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, Cheryl Lumens. Cheryl. Cheryl, I will... Um, I'll tag you in the post with that answer for uh, for which breeds better. Why do we use board short fabric instead of swim for boys? Why do we use board short fabric instead of swim for boys? Because we only see the vagina. Because <laughs> Mary Beth says <laughs> that um, board short fabric fabric is. Um, less sticky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I'd imagine that's probably true. I don't specifically know the answer to that question, but it's kind of like, um, if you can imagine somebody in Speedos compared to somebody in a pair of board shorts, what are you more comfortable with? <laughs> Looking at <laughs> What's the best knit to start with as a beginner without a serger? What is the best knit to start with as a beginner without a serger? That is an excellent question. It is. Um, I would recommend... I, uh, I'd use something like Tri-Blend because it... Something more stable. Yeah, because rayon's super curly. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so... Or uh, brush poly, even. Yeah, okay. Brush, brush poly um, is a great knit um, and uh, like a Tri-Blend um, knit because they are uh they don't tend to like curl up a lot and when you're when you have your pattern pieces together they stick together really nice and you can smooth them out and they're they're going to be easier to work with chris shapiro said that nylon over poly for breathability oh okay chris shapiro and i trust her thank, implicitly thank you, thank you chris says that um nylon is more breathable than poly so she would she recommend nylon over poly for breathability, and I would go with what she says. Okay. It, would you think for beginners that a fabric like um, Liverpool would be oh, a yeah. good one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is. I think the first thing I made was Liverpool, was a pencil skirt. On the sewing machine? On the serger. On the serger. But she's I, I didn't for make sewing anything machine. on the sewing machine. Liverpool might be a really good beginner knit as well for a sewing machine. I, that, it's a really nice knit to work with. And Chris says interlock is great for beginners. And Chris um, says interlock. ITY, is that what she means? I guess. I think she's I think she's referring to ITY or interlock. Interlock twist yarn is what that stands for. Um, for beginners as well. Uh, good fabric to use. Okay. Are we done? Mm -hmm. We're done. Okay, thank you so we much, everybody, for your questions. And um, we will uh, we'll try and do this again soon. Tell them if I missed any, I'm really sorry. Oh, if Mary Beth missed any, she's really sorry. So um, if, uh, if we had a lot of questions that we missed, maybe we could start. Oh, with Chris said, no, that's cotton interlock. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me clarify what Chris said about interlock. She means cotton interlock, not interlock twist yarn. Cotton interlock. Yeah, that's good fabric. Okay, so um, maybe we'll do this again next week if our shipment doesn't come. Because <laughs> it's still sitting in L.A. and we're in Ohio. So uh, so anyways, thank you so much for your questions today and for joining us. And I will go ahead and get the slide by up and um, our, our eyelets and our bundles and our chambray. So thanks for joining us. And we hope to see you next Wednesday at 1230. Have a great week.